We are here today with Dr. Bob Milligan of Dairy Strategies. Today, Bob will address how to create synergy within a team environment. Thank you, Karen. This is really an important topic. It's one we hear a lot about, about how do we create a team that really has synergy. So we first need to think about what, what is synergy? And, and we can go to the, the dictionary and get a fancy definition that says the interaction of two or more agents or forces so that their combined effort is greater than the sum of their individual effects. Or, much more simply, one plus one is greater than two. And, and that really is the underlying objective of a team, or if it's three members, one plus one plus one is greater than three. So how, how do we accomplish that? I, wanna, I wanna first want to share an example. Uh, for many years, I was the director of the Pro Dairy Program in, in New York State, and we actually had a, a seven-member team. And, and one of the things that, that I was always proud of is we had great discussion, and we came up with a lot of innovative programs. And often when we would talk to people after we'd had our meeting, say we came up with this new program, this new idea, and the person would often ask, Who, whose idea was that? And many times we could not answer that question because it came from the combined discussion. Somebody threw out an idea, and, and we chewed on it, and we piggybacked on it. And, and that's, to me, a tremendous example of, of synergy. So how do we come about getting that. To do that, we really have to talk about team decision making. And, and this actually is my favorite diagram of team decision making. It looks kind of complicated, but it's really not. And so first think about this big red box that's there. That's referred to as the frame. And that is what we're using to come to a common decision. And the reality is that that has to be a common vision of the organization. The, the team itself, common goals, common direction. Because if we don't have a common vision, there's really no way we can come to a solution that we'll all agree with. Because if we're looking at it through different lenses, we're all going to come up with, with different solutions. So that common vision is really important. Because if we have different visions, it's like the diagram on the screen now. They don't sync. And each person is going to come to a different position on this diagram and we'll have different optimal solutions. And in this case, every decision becomes a battle. And you can probably think about examples of partnerships or teams you've been on, that, that that's been the case. And so this team decision-making is really important. One of the things, though, is that we also need dialogue. And there's a, a common phrase, and some people have equated it to Henry Ford, if two people on a team always agree, one of them is not needed. Now, we need to think about that for a minute. That's because we want this synergy. We want this discussion. And the discussion kind of has to fit into two different areas. The first is what we call the diverging part of the discussion. We're gathering information. We're throwing out ideas. We're stimulating discussion. We're piggybacking on other people's ideas. We're collecting information. And so after a while, that can go too far. Then we have to start converging toward a solution. And that's when it often takes some leadership from the leader, and, and we start pulling ideas together, and we come up with a solution that comes from the team, just like in my pro dairy example. Now, everyone on the team isn't necessarily going to agree with everything, because we're different people. But the key is that by everybody having input and everybody feeling they're a part of it, everyone goes away supportive of the decision that came out from the team. So this is really the key. Now, many or most of you are really leaders of farm businesses. So we have to think about where does this kind of fit into that context? And, and if we look historically, in most cases, farms have had a single owner. That was in this case, in many business today, is the senior generation. Today, we have multiple owners. Now, one of the challenges with this is that the senior partner, the senior owner, was an outstanding leader of a sole proprietorship. But now we're going to have a team. And so this outstanding leader doesn't necessarily now have experience leading a team. That can be a challenge. And that's really what senior partners have to recognize is they now have to become the leader of the team and work through that whole diagram that we just talked about. The second piece of this is that the senior generation grew up with the farm. 
the farm grew, they've been, they've been the sole proprietor, the leader for a long time. Today, the junior generation often has to grow up within the farm. They, they have to become a part of the team. They aren't going to immediately become a leader. And so this team synergy becomes very critical to leadership of the farm, to growth of the farm, to multiple generations working together and therefore to transition of the business. I often visit with senior partners because they're my clients. And one day I had one talk to me and he said, Bob, and he was clearly exasperated. He said, I, I involved everyone, but they weren't happy. Now, what happened was that he was involving people in the way he's operated for years as an individual leader. He was getting everybody involved in that gathering information stage. He was getting information from everybody. And then he was making the decision. Well, the other partners, the younger generation, they want to be a part of the decision as well as a part of the providing information. They wanted to be involved in the whole part of this decision-making frame. They wanted to be involved in the reaching a decision. And that's the difference. He was operating very effectively before. But the way of operating before, of making the decision after collecting information, isn't how a team needs to work. I have an example of another client that I worked with. And, and this client needed some structure. They actually had team meetings, but then one of them would get busy and they wouldn't come. And so we actually set up some structure. That's part of the frame, is setting up some structure for the team meeting. And one of those can be and this was the one that really helped that team, is when the team doesn't meet. And so they decided, well, we aren't going to meet at the critical planting and harvesting period, but we are going to meet in other periods. And that really has helped that team work very effectively. So an effective leadership team of a farm is really my term for the team we're talking about, the partners sitting down together to make decisions, to work through this leadership team process that we've been talking about. And so to create synergy, we have to have vision, we have to have the time when we're sharing information, we're collecting information, and then we have to be able to reach a synergistic solution. Thank you, Bob. For more information on creating team synergy and other management topics, go to the management section of www.progressivedairy.com.